welcome welcome family welcome today we're gonna do some jamaican french fried chicken and this was requested from a family member all the way in england julianne big up yourself she has requested for me to do the french fried chicken so i'm gonna do it instructional way right so just stay tuned and see what i do and guys if you're not yet part of the family please become one by subscribing So guys look my chicken well seasoned right you know i'm gonna listen see well seasoned right so i'm gonna add the sasan right the sasan and just mix it in and this gives a nice flavor and a nice color you see watch And remember me season my chicken for overnight, right? That the way they well marinated and nice. Well soak on right to the bone. Yeah? Soak right to the bone. Anyway. Wash up, man. Alright guys, so before me even go no further right let me just add my this is um onion i may have um look i put my onion just to flavor the oil and i have pepper and garlic i went to have an um preheat my pot right so i'm gonna add the, the um the saffron to my flour and just combine it, mix it in right mix it in alright so rest it right here So guys, remember we have a chicken here now. I'm gonna get them floured egg first. So I'm gonna have three egg right here, three small eggs. So I'm just gonna pour it over my chicken and get it and my chicken all together. All right, just stick and see what I do. All right? Can I will see also this one? And I'm just gonna pour it all the way on my chicken, right? Just like that. Okay. So I'm gonna just rub it in, right? Like this. Every piece is make sure ensure that every piece get the egg on it, right? You don't have to remove this, but I like to remove it as I, I don't like it on my chicken. I like to remove it. After I flavor the oil, I just remove it. But you can leave it if you want. But already flavor, I already did. Alright. Okay. Press this over here. So now I'm going to add my chicken in here and get them floured, right? Alright, step aside so you guys can see. Alright, so.
it, you're gonna shake off the excess flour, right? And then you place it in the pack. Shake off the excess flour. Alright guys, so I'm not going to put any more in here. Well, we can't pour no more. We want to have a little space in the pot as well. You see the input here already? Just watch and see how we do the thing. So yes guys, so after 10 minutes so, we're going to turn our chicken now, alright? So let's see. You see that guys? Take the color. Nice, right? Okay? Look at those chicken. Guys, you see these pots? Me not lie, they ain't all time pot here. They ain't call them skillet, but or skillet, whatever they call them. But my grandmother used to have one of them pot. Like, if fried chicken, me say when you eat chicken for fry out a pot like this, you know one name to finish. And fish. Anything you cook in a them kind of thick pot here, yeah? you're good. I'm gonna check back on my chicken now. So this is like around six, seven minutes after me turn them. So I'm gonna check back on them, okay? When you put the pork inside of the chicken like this, and you, if you don't see any blood come out, you know, you know, it's fried, right? Okay. So right now me have slow fry them right now because me kinda turned on the flame to make them soak properly, right? You want them to fry good so they don't raw, right? No raw chicken. Alright. I'm gonna show you something, right? You see the time? The tie takes a little longer time to fry. To ensure you fry your thigh properly. You're gonna put your fork down here, right? And if it's not fried, some blood is gonna come up right here, right? We watch and see. All right, look, guys. All right. All right. Let's see. All right. So I'm gonna take on some smaller piece we already fry, right? Eh? Look at that guy. So 
you, you can always turn your chicken from one side to the other to ensure they fry properly right so these all right notice guys this is what i'm talking about look you can let me bring it up in the camera this is what i'm talking about you see the blood right there right so when you put your fork inside of that and you see the blood come up you know that your thigh hasn't finished fry yet okay you're gonna leave it and let it fry some more so guys we're gonna check back on the thigh all right, all right. Can you tell you? So you notice no more blood, they properly fried. See? guys look remove this from the eye right before we put in the rest of the chicken remove all of this right we call this clean the eye some people would say skimmy eye but whichever way whatever you want to call it we just remove it just like that So guys, because the oil is hot, very hot now, because it's been on the stove for a while, right? So I'm going to turn it down a little to put in the rest of my chicken. So let me just turn it down a little, flour the rest of my chicken, and then put them in, right? this is the time you pay keen attention to your chicken because guess what happened because the is so hot you can't let the hand come back you have to watch it because this is the time people have bun up chicken so you have to just stick around in your kitchen 